Yo, what's up, folks? <clears throat> how y'all doing, man? Once again, Donald Johnson. How can I, how, how are you doing? I was supposed to say, how can I help you? <laughs> However, I am here to help you. Uh, today, man, I just want to talk about um, something like that has been kind of bothering me a little bit. Uh, something that I've been seeing <clears throat> here on the music scene, uh, on the color band scene, really. But just, just music period uh, is how to be a better band leader I see some guys even when they have bands whether it's an original band whether it's a cover band uh, a swing and jazz band whatever it don't matter you're the leader uh, there's just a few things I want to help you out with a few things because I'm a band leader I, I've been over a band before I've, I've MD bands and uh Sometimes I get called just to do uh, the MD, just to be an MD and help arrange and come up with some shows and uh, you know stuff like that. And I see some of the band leaders and how they looking at the musicians and I'm like, why do you have this guy? And I'm like, man, this dude is good. This guy is trash. Uh, <laughs> what was what, going on? What's the purpose of picking him? Uh, so it's just it's a few things that I just want really want to touch on. Uh, and one, one thing and this, I'm not trying to be insensitive uh, but one thing is that you got to know your personnel you got to know your personnel and their abilities uh, <clears throat> if you know your drummer isn't that hot you can't keep getting mad at him uh, can't keep getting upset at him if you know he has an issue with playing the loops and playing with tracks uh, or if you got a guitar player and he don't know how to go to the six when you call when you call out the numbers and he don't know where to go to the flat five or flat seven uh, things of that nature you, you you can't get mad at them you can't you can't have high expectations for musicians that aren't really uh, able to uh, to play. Uh, and you got to find the weakest link in your band. Find the weakest link in your band. That sounds a little harsh, but uh, it's, it's the reality, it's the facts. Um, they say you're only as good as your weakest link. Well, if the weakest link is your timekeeper, your drummer, y'all y'all never gonna make it. And when you got people around you that's really good and they're practicing and they doing what they're supposed to be doing, it'll show. It'll, it'll show. It'll show who's been at home sleep all week. Uh, it'll, be, it'll show who's been at home resting and not and not really learning that material. Uh, so that's one thing you got to do. Find your weakest link and don't be afraid to confront them. Don't be afraid to deal with the issue. If you if one of your musicians, uh, you know, not doing their part, don't be afraid to say something to them. And I don't mean busting them out in rehearsals. I don't mean calling them out. You know in front of everybody, that's not what I mean. However, sometimes that's what needs to be done, but that's not what I'm talking about. There's other ways where you can uh, address the conflict that you have on, hey, let me pull them to the side. You know, let them know, hey, listen, you ain't learning your music. Send them a text message, an email. There's more ways to communicate these days. Uh, hell, if you don't want to do that, just write a letter and put it in the mail. You know, something, something other than embarrassing them. Uh, or her, even though they're embarrassing you as a band leader, just you are the one that's in charge, so you're the one that has to really be the bigger man. Um, so yeah, that's that's just one thing. Uh, what else was it? Take as much pressure off of your band members as possible. Relieve them of all pressure, as much pressure as possible. What do I mean by that? Send them the music on time. Yeah, send them the music on time. Um, send the right arrangement. Let them know what arrangement you want to do if you want to create one or if you want to send one that you've seen before or that you've heard already. And then let them know. Make sure that they're on the same page as what we are learning. Um, in my last video that I did about the practice method and how to learn music, I talked about people talking about musicians saying I learned the wrong version or I learned the different version I learned it in a different key well as a band leader you want to eliminate that you want to eliminate those kind of excuses 
uh, you want to be able to shut all that mess down and just tell them, look, boom, this is what we're doing by XYZ as the artist, and this is the version we're doing, this is the key that it's in. Okay? But the only way you can do that is apparently you have to know your music. You have to know your music. You have to study this. You have to you have to embed yourself in this. If you're gonna be a band leader or you're a conductor and you're up front, you have to really know what you're doing. And you have to know everybody's part no matter what's going on. You gotta know everybody's part. Uh, I'll give you a quick example. When I was playing with the uh, orchestra, uh, the New Texas Symphony Orchestra here in Dallas, Texas, and uh, my professor uh, turned conductor, Miss Catherine Brown. Catherine Brown. And, uh, you know, she called me and said, hey, that's all. We're gonna need a drummer for this gig, this show, or whatever. Great, cool. It's all charts, because it was an orchestra, so it's all charts. She gave me the charts weeks in advance, which is great, you know? Because you just got time to proofread. Um, instead of sight reading on, on site, you know, got a little time to look over, time to proofread or whatever. And uh, I got a chance to go and look at her workstation, and she has a book, and the sheet is like this long. And I'm just like, man, how the hell are you doing this? Like, how are you doing this? And she's just real literally like reading everything straight across, straight across. Keys, drums, violin, viola, cello, bass, timpani, everybody's parts is going straight across. And she's just constantly reading it going up and down and she and she knew everybody's part she knew when something was off she knew something wasn't tuned um but as a leader those are the kind of things you have to know even if it's not charted out in front of you those are some things that you still just need to know because you can't prepare you can't go into a gig thinking you're prepared when you didn't prepare the people uh, and so that's that's one thing that i really want band leaders to understand Eliminate all excuses. Eliminate all excuses. What's some excuse? Oh, uh, I don't know where it's at. Okay, we'll make sure they have the, the correct address. Not only do you make sure they have the correct address, send them the e the, uh, the link. Send it, send it to them. Don't just text them the address. Here, this is what it's close to. It's close to a Walmart. This is it's around the corner from a Walmart. You know, give them some details and help them uh, Stop lying to you all the time, okay? Uh, what's another excuse? I've, I've, I've heard them all. I've, I've, I've heard them all, guys. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, cut off the excuses. Send them the music on time and make sure that they get the right music. Let them know what they're wearing. You know, hey, I need everybody in black. Not black and blue, not black and white. I need all black. A nice black, like dressy black. Not when you, when you, just, you say all black, and we coming in there with some jeans, some black tennis shoes, and a black t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? Some chucks, <laughs> and maybe a hat, or whoever wear bandanas, a black and white bandana. You gotta be specific, straight up. Hey, I need all black with a tie, or we're, we're wearing red ties, blue ties, whatever. You make sure that they know this type of stuff in advance. How much the gig is paying? Hey, this is paying X, Y, Z. That way they can know if I'm gonna do it or not. And and that's fair. You give them the opportunity to say, Hey, I don't want to do it. That's not enough money. Cool. Move on to the next. But you got to make sure they're prepared as a as a band leader. And you want to make sure that their band is prepared. Everything they need. Everything they need. Some they slipping. Hey man, listen. You slipping. That's what I need from you. Cool. Now if they don't get it. They're still messing up, still terrible. Uh, then it's, it's okay to fire somebody. Don't be afraid to fire people. Don't be afraid to tell people, hey man, look, this this ain't the gig for you. This, this just isn't for you. Um, some people need to learn how to fire people because just going off the cuff and being upset with them, that's not how you fire somebody. That's not how you get rid of somebody. You just going in there, oh, I don't like the way you're playing, you fire. Yeah, but you didn't tell me what you want me to play either. You didn't tell me how you want it. Oh, it don't feel right, it don't feel right. Well, tell me what I need to do in order to make the song feel right. You have to go through those steps before you can just get rid of somebody. All right? Uh, but that's pretty much all I got for that, man. I don't want to keep y'all too long. But uh, I just want to see guys do better. I just want to see band leaders do better. 
Uh, have a nice medley. Have some medleys going on. Stop just going from song to song and turning around, looking around, trying to see what's next. Put your show together. Put your show together, guys. Anywho, I'm out. Donald Johnson. See ya.